real shit and random topics. Uh, I caught one of them where you were saying, you was just talking about like, obviously, you know, the, the, the rap game, being a rapper can be dangerous, but like rappers are the new gladiators. I think that's what you said. Like, No, I was just saying, you know, it's a blood sport. You know, rappers out here dying, so you just got to know how to move. Okay, absolutely. So how do you move differently as money man, a nigga that's getting money, you know what I'm saying? You like to, you like to show your lifestyle and shit like that. You ain't tucking it, you out of it. Does, it does, that, does that whole thing make you move different or how you move different? Um, I, I just know how to move. Like, if you, if you got some type of common sense, you're going to know how to move. Like, I mean, some people don't pick up on it, but like, you know, I, I think, I actually think, so I'm going to move accordingly. Like, I just know how to move, you know what I'm saying? I don't put myself in certain positions like, like other people do. I put myself in the best position possible to win. And when you do that, you're not going to move. You're not going to move sloppy. You're not going to move wrong. How many homies and family members you had to distance yourself from on your journey? It wasn't many, but it was some. Because sometimes you got to go out by yourself, block everybody out, and then go get that bag. But um, everybody around me pretty much understood because I was, I was pursuing trying to get a bag for a long time. So it, it became normal to everybody around me, like, if I disappear because I'm over here studying this and running this bag up over here, people weren't tripping. That's just how it was with me. You gave, you gave your lady 100000 to start her own business? That was, that was somewhat recent or wasn't it last year? Didn't yeah, it was in November. But, we, but it's crazy because we were just talking about crashing out for your partner and you know going all out for your significant other. How important do you think it is to support your significant other in all aspects of life and relationships? I mean, if, I, if I'm with her, then I'm going to um, support what she's doing because I know the person who I'm rocking with yeah. is, is kind of just like me. So they not just out, you know, just blowing the bag and shit like that. It's like, right. I'm going a, I'm to a put them on a business. Like, I'm going to be like, make sure you start a business. If they don't know, then I'm going to educate them on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm, a lot of niggas ain't coming through with 100 racks, though. I mean, you know, you just got to get up and go get it, man. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go get you a bag, man. Yeah. Hey, what that independent shit really about? I think that some people don't know what it takes to be an independent rapper or artist. You know what I mean? Like, uh, what is that shit really about? We know it's about hustle and structure and shit like that, but what is it really about from the perspective of a money man? I mean, like, independently, like, I, I actually got some talent. You know what I'm saying? It's like, my shit kind of, like, I'm really putting in, I'm really making sure I put out some quality shit. So people gonna appreciate that, number one. And then I'm really rapping about a lot of things other people ain't hip to yet, or it'll come hip five years later, or two years later. And then you know it's millionaires made off my music. So it's just, that's gonna keep itself going. It's gonna be relevant because it actually adds value to your life. You know what I'm saying? And it sound good. But independently though, I can do that because of that. But independent, the best way to go, only because you're going to eat royalties. You know what I'm saying? You get up in some of these major label systems, and you never could see your royalties. Have you ever got frustrated with the music shit? In the beginning, I got frustrated with the music shit. Um, but once, I start, once it started catching on, I wasn't really frustrated no more. Talk a little bit about the lifestyle, too. So you still completely vegan? Completely vegan. Yeah, completely vegan. I was eating a little bit of fish. Uh, Last year, towards the end of the year, I was eating some fish here and there. Because I do that like a month or two out the year. And then now I'm back completely vegan. What made you do that? What made you start getting to the juicing? You talk about fasting. You talk about meditating. Because you grow your own shit, right? I was, but I ain't been growing it lately. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Why you stop? I just couldn't keep up with it because I was moving around too much. I was recording. I had dogs. I had all kind of shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, my money was spread out across the board, so it was yeah. hard for me to tend to that every day. What made you get into the meditating and the juicing and the whole lifestyle, like I was saying? Like, what made you the transition? Because it probably wasn't always that for you, right? Nah, it wasn't always that, but once I knew better, I was like, shit, let me do better. And where did know better come from? Like, was it like, shit, your homeboys put you on, or...? Now, nah, just being on the internet and then learning as I grow, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, seeing certain foods and then, you know, they taste better, they taste cleaner, this or that. Um, just educating myself online on um, YouTube, shit like that. 
who who are some of the people you haven't got a chance to work with? Like you got little baby, you got money bag, yo, like you got some heavy features. Who's the people? Yeah, I rock with um Lil Baby and Money Bag, yo. I got a song, I got LLC remix, which is going crazy right now. That's going crazy right now. And then I got um um Lil Baby, 24. So who's some who some other people I'm saying that you want to lock in with though? Anybody. Anybody who's going crazy on the music, I'm trying to lock in with anybody. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. For sure. So look, so I got a question for you. A while back, um, there was a thing online where Meek was saying that nobody put him on to real business moves like before he got on and stuff. So in your personal opinion, do you feel like it's your obligation to put your homies on to ideas and business moves or do you feel like it's an individual personal thing and you're not responsible for that if you're in position? Um, I feel like if you're going to have somebody around you and, and they not elevating with you, then what you got somebody around you for? Everybody exactly. around me is going to be elevating. That's what's up. Has Money Man ever got too high? Like, just smoked out too high, just stoned to the point where, like, you remember a time when you was like, man, I, it's over. Um, I, done got, I done got high a few times and I done been on the shrooms, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you do be rapping about what? So, what's that? What's the shrooms about? Um, I don't know. It just make me feel a certain way. You know what I'm saying? I can feel my blood flowing and shit like that. So <laughs> I'm on it in a in a good way. Yeah, definitely. A lot sure. of people talk about enlightenment and shit too. Like, yeah, you definitely get enlightened. You feel me? You gonna get enlightened? Can you? So hear, is it? Can you hear your blood too? Can you hear that shit? You can't hear it, but you can feel it. So look, when you're on shrooms, because we had Duval on the show um, a while back too, he was saying that the shrooms basically elevate whatever's in you. So like, if you're a happy person, you're gonna be like a happier person. And if you're like a angry, miserable person, you're gonna be like really upset and sad and you know what I'm saying, all that kind of shit. Is that true? I don't know, it, it could be like that. But for me, when I'm on it, it, it make me feel a certain type of way like, um. Like, I'm learning extra information. Like, some just hit me, like, oh, I figured Kinda it like out. Kind of like an Adderall. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Okay, okay, okay. You got some right now? Nah, I ain't got nothing right now. <laughs> okay, oh, bank. You ready to take off, bank? <laughs> you ready to take these shrooms? I'm trying to go to the matrix. I'm telling you. <laughs> See, that with the shroom, dude, it's like you in the metaverse. You feel me? Like, <laughs> that's what Duval said, too. Duval said that same shit, didn't he? I think so. But yeah. but most of the time I like micro dosing, so I'm still on point. Like if you just micro dosing and you taking them, you just feeling a certain way and you still moving and you not out here lacking or none of that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Did you did you ever drink lean or do you still did you stop? Like, I used to be on lean. I used to be on lean bad. You know what I'm saying? Um it never fucked me up or nothing like that. Um, but I just got off it once I realized what it was doing to me. It was fucking me up. What it was internally you, fucking me up. What made you start drinking? Drink? You know, like drink. Like what made you first time you got them pulled a the cup, what what you were thinking? Like everybody around me was was drinking, everybody around me was smoking, everybody around me was on Xan. It, it was all that going on around me. So it was it was right there. You know? Yeah, the environment. Yeah, for sure. Product of it. So when you quit it, like were you able to quit cold turkey or did you go through withdrawals like most niggas go through? Nah, I, I, when I do something, I do it, I overdo it. Like when I do something, so I can I can be like on it, on it, or right. and, and then I could just cut it dry. Oh, okay, damn, yeah. you are. Right. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> she said you are. <laughs> I was gone on that drink too one time. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah how it was. Yeah, yeah, that shit snapped. When, when they you stop, you have like withdrawal symptoms and shit, right? Nah, hell no. Nah. Like he said, like when you don't want that, that shit got too high for me. Like, <laughs> like hell, that's the reason you stop. <laughs> Spent, huh? That's the main reason you stopped? That's the main. Then when the act went out of got down, when, when the act drunk a little red, and after that, I wasn't finna drink all that other shit. These niggas drinking that green, some pregnancy medicine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they get crazy. that shit to you for nausea, but a lot of niggas though scream, like, for real, when they been drinking, 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 and they get off that shit, like, that's, they be fucked up. Like, they I have to go to the hospital it. and all kind of shit. It's liquid heroin. Yeah. Man, nigga be on everything, too, though. Not just that. It should be mixed with the everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy right there. 
<laughs> hey, for the people, uh, the, for the for the nine to fivers, the hustlers, the street niggas, everybody, you know what I'm saying, that's scared of like inflation and high gas and recession and they just kind of panicking right now, what would you say to people like that? You, uh, you got to adapt. Like if you see gas going up, you see food going up, um, you see everything else going up, you need to be making more money. So you need to be hustling more. Facts. Facts. That's simple. And you need to be charging more for your shit. Huh? And you need to charge more for your product. Yeah, for sure. You need to go up with it. Yeah. You got to go up with My it. My man, sure. you hit me with that one today. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Features go up, shows go everything go up. Everything Three fives go up. go up? Yeah, I've been going up on everything. I go up as everything else go up, I go up. 